I'm making this video today to talk about politics and this is a topic I really try to avoid as much as possible. How with the the elections coming up, I want to bring to light uh, some of the mentality when it comes to some of the politicians in Washington. This has to do with an email that I sent to a senator here in Oklahoma. Uh, I sent a senator an email informing that H.R. 4261, which is the Gulf War Health Research Reform Act of 2014, had passed the House, and I had requested his support in picking up the bill and forwarding it, maybe possibly co-sponsoring it, but mostly trying to get the bill pushed forward through the Senate. I received in July, on July 14, 2014 at 1.17 p.m. Central the following email. Dear Mrs. Stewart, thank you for your recent correspondence. As your voice in Washington, I appreciate being made aware of, the, of your views. The legislation you have contacted me about, H.R. 4261, GWI Reform Act of 2014 is presently pending in the House of Representatives. Why do not act actively work with the House bill that have not been passed, I do find it useful to receive input on such matters. A House bill, if passed, would, become, would come to the Senate and, come, and could become law. Also, House bills can be precursor to Senate bills. In any case, the matter with which the legislation deals is important. I believe we should look closely at the issue. It is crucial that the decision we make be informed and forward thinking. If senators and representatives ignore issues other, either because of their, they are addressed only by legislation in the other house or otherwise, they shirk part of their responsibility which is to be attentive to the needs of all the constituents. Again, thank you for your comments. Please do not hesitate to contact me. Okay, so basically this senator decided to give me a lecture on how a bill is supposed to work. I know that. A bill goes through the House, it gets passed by the House, it gets forwarded over to the Senate, Senate picks it up, and so forth, right? So the bill passed, as, again, as I said, the bill passed on May 28, 2014. His email was July 14, 2014, which means the bill was sitting in their lap, in the Senate, Senator's lap. I am a registered Republican, however, I can tell you right now, after this response and after studying the track record on this Senator's, his voting track record, when it comes to voter veteran bill, he's not getting my vote. Yes, he has voted for, yes, for some of the bills. However, in general, when I go back and I backtrack and see what he has been doing when it comes to helping veterans and standing up for them and fighting for them and so on, no. Anyway, that is Senator James M. Inhofe of Oklahoma. He's not getting my vote. When it comes to the history, you know, of bills, how they're supposed to work, you know, you have the notion that America operates under a democracy. That is not what we have today in America. You look at how corporations have so much control on what goes and does not go in U.S. government what we actually have is an oligarchy. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But bottom line, what it boils down to is the elite, rich, etc., are the ones that control as towards how government functions. And the way it works, many of us know this, the general population does not, they are not even aware of how deep this goes. But the way it works is the corporations are the ones that pass funds over to the politicians. 
and campaigns, whatever you want to call it, they pass funds one way or another over to the politicians. And it is insane how many senators and congressmen are actually millionaires. How is that even possible considering the type of salary that they get? They don't get paid a million dollars a year. Corporation comes over, starts feeding the money into the pocket of the politicians. Politicians start right. They start pushing forward bills and looking at government contracts, who they're going to award the government contracts to. It goes forward, bill gets passed, government contracts are awarded. And when the government contracts are awarded, that means billions of dollars circle back around, back to the corporation. Perfect example of that, you take Hallie Burton and Vice President Cheney. Vice President Cheney came from Hallie Burton. Now, when he assumed the position of Vice President, who do you think got a huge chunk of those government contracts? Toys R Us? Nah. Taco Bell? Nah. Hallie Burton. So Hallie Burton made billions of dollars. And that's only one example. However, this is what is going on today. So I tell people, you know, people in America, you need to wake up. This is the kind of system that you want where the rich are the ones that control you. They tell you uh, what kind of information system uh, you're to be provided. Why do you think they're trying to control the internet? Uh, they don't want that free flow. Why do you think, uh, when it comes to American media, please do not believe everything you see on ABC, CBS, uh, Fox News, and all that. A lot of that stuff is controlled, again, by these guys. So if, let's say, ABC does a news segment on corruption in politics or whatever, let's say a corporation that has government contracts, these corporations are going to get a hold of their buddies, the politicians, and say, hey, you need to put the stop on to that. Guess what? Sure enough, they will come back and crack down on the American news media and get a stop on it. I'm going to just keep it short. Bottom line, when it comes to American politics, this senator here, he's a Republican, I'm a Republican, but guess what? He's not getting my vote. He's got to go. American people, wake the hell up. Because I tell you what, if you keep on allowing this system, this disease, Gulf illness, is slowly killing me. I'm not going to be around very long. I'll be, uh, you know, by the time they break the American pol political system, I'll be gone. However, your kids and your grandkids are going to get stuck with this. So if you continue to allow this to happen, you know what? That's your own fault. And start telling these politicians, this link right here, the money link going between the corporations to the politicians, that needs to stop. The politicians need to report. They are our employees. We vote them into office. So therefore, they need to report and represent us, not the corporations. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, what do you think these corporations do? How You talk about American corporations. How many American companies are allowed to ship their headquarters overseas? They'll give money to the, these guys to pass an allowance to allow them to relate, relocate their headquarters. Therefore, why? To avoid paying taxes. They don't pay the taxes, and then you and I, the bottom of the totem pole, are the ones stuck with paying the tax taxes that these idiots over here don't want to pay. And then on top of that, once they relocate their headquarters, where do you think they take the jobs? Do they produce, they get all these kickbacks. Basically corporate welfare is what it boils down to. It's corporate welfare. Relocate the headquarters overseas. Don't pay taxes. Get tax breaks from the politicians. Basically what they're trying to tell the politicians, hey, you know, if I get a tax break, blah, 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 I'll be able to hire, oh, 5,000 more people. They're gonna hire 5,000 more people. Where do you think they're gonna hire those people at? You think they, these people are gonna hire them here in the USA? Nope. Nope, not gonna happen. Why? They ship the job overseas, it's cheaper labor. You know, 10 cents to a dollar. So basically, all their operation, all their finance, everything 
is overseas, but yet they're getting breaks from the U.S. government and they're selling it to U.S. people. When it comes to this stuff, I have done my part. I have gotten to the point where now I'm to the point I order a lot of my goods online, underwear, socks, stuff like that, because I refuse to go into stores that, you know, when you pick up the name tag, you know, you pick up the, the item and all you see is made in China, made in Taiwan, made in Honduras, and etc. I look for made in the U.S. It's more expensive. It's generally, not always, it tends to be more expensive. However, I can tell you this. In comparison to all the other products that I have bought, they're better made products, better quality, last longer. I'd rather, I'd rather spend more money for better quality. And knowing the fact that I am helping to hire John Doe down the street, I'm helping him or her, my neighbor, to keep their job, to support their family, instead of helping these corporations. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, throw that out there, rant a little bit about my dear little senator and American uh, politics. Thank you.